Hey everyone, um, hey happy brainers. Um, welcome back to Happy Brain Education, the channel where you can come to hear fantastic stories um, and some really practical lesson ideas on how to keep that important brain happy. I'm Curly Wordy um, and today I'm gonna read a really beautiful story to you by Joseph Quillo. Um, and it's a really delicate topic. Um, the story is called If All the World Were. And it's a beautiful story about the relationship between um, a grandchild and her grandfather. And if we, we all love our nannies and we all love our grannies, but sometimes as they get older, they do pass away and they do have to leave us. And even though they leave us, the love they leave us stays with us always on the inside. Um, the blurb at the back says, Grandad gives me a pencil with a rainbow nib. Write and draw, write and draw all your dreams. It's spring. I take long walks with my granddad. I hold his giant hand. He says, you're too old to hold hands. We explore hand in hand the budding springtime. If all the world were springtime, I would replant my grandfather's birthday so that he would never get old. It's summer. Grandad buys me a racing track. It's second hand with missing bits. We fix what we can together. We use our hands to zoom the cars up and down, up and down, up, 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 up and fire them off deep into space. Whoa, into space they go, wow. If all the world were deep in space, I'd orbit my grandfather like the moon and our laughs would be shooting stars. It's autumn. My granddad makes me a notebook with handmade paper of brown and orange leaves that rustle when I turn the page, bound with ruby Indian leather string. Grandad gives me a pencil with a rainbow nib. Write and draw, write and draw all your dreams. If all the world were dreams, I would mix my bright granddad feelings and paint them all over sad places. It's winter. My granddad tells me tales from when he was a boy of Indian sweets and homemade toys. There are ships, snakes, and tigers in his story. If all the world were stories, I could make my granddad better just by listening, listening, listening to every tale he has to tell. But some tales are silent. I help mum and dad clean our granddad's room. I find dried blue flowers between book pages, a yellow toy racing car glued to a piece of track, a length of ruby Indian leather string, a ball of silver foil from every sweet he ever ate, an open pack of rainbow nibbed pencils, a kaleidoscope of memories. If all the world were memories, the past would be rooms I could visit and in each room would be my granddad. On Grandad's chair is a new notebook, newly made with spring petal paper, newly bound with a length of Indian string. My name is written on the front. It's new and empty and was made by my Grandad. So I write and draw and write and draw and write all my Grandad memories inside. I write and draw lots of different worlds smiling and laughing, 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 and all of them have my granddad. He says, you're too old to hold hands, but still I hold his giant hand and we explore hand in hand. The end. Obviously a really sad story because the granddaughter has a wonderful relationship with her granddad and the granddad passes away. But obviously death is inevitable and people do leave us and stories like this are really good with preparing your child for loss or to read it to them when they have experienced the loss. Again, opening up that conversation, allowing them to know that it's okay to express an assortment of feelings that they have um, and also that it's okay to be angry. You know, anger is such a 
important emotion and that it's important for us to get that out. Thank you for listening. See you soon, guys. Bye.